everybody, this is Katie the Cleaning Lady. Thanks so much for joining me again today. In this week's video, I'm challenging you to create an evacuation grab and go list. Let me explain. Should your city issue an evacuation notice, what would you grab? Which items should you load in your car before you leave? You don't wanna drive away just to realize that you've forgotten an item that can't be replaced. In reality, we all love our stuff. But the truth is, is that most of it can be replaced. So our goal this week is going to be creating a list of items that you would want to load in your car should you need to leave your home for whatever reason. Here are some tips to help you create your list. Working from one end of your house to the other. Walk through each room and evaluate what in that room you would want to load in your car. Which items cannot be replaced and which items are important enough to take up room in your trunk. Don't forget to look in areas such as in the closet, underneath the bed, in your garage, or any other storage areas around your house. Here are some examples of things to include on your list. Your 72 hour kit, if you have one, your emergency binder, which is now prepared, a portable battery charging pack and charger for your cell phone. If you have children, their electronic devices and chargers, any external hard drives for your computer, your house and car keys, a jacket, your purse or wallet, your scriptures, a sleeping bag, and if you have room, a tent, a few key tools in a bucket, and any jewelry, valuables, or cash around your house. Don't forget to include on your list, and especially if you have extra room in the car, water and snacks. Because let's be honest, snacks in the car is always a good idea. Don't forget to evaluate any special needs you may have in the house, such as babies, pets, or anyone elderly living with you. In that case, you would add diapers, wipes, medication, medical supplies, a pet leash, pet bowl, and pet food, if those items apply to you. Make sure you print two copies of this list, adding one to the side of your fridge with your other important phone numbers, and one closer to the entrance of your home. For example, I typed mine so that as I walked through one room to another, I could know which items in that room I needed to grab. Creating a list like this will save you so much stress should you need to leave your home. You know exactly which items you want to grab that you won't be stressed on the road thinking that you forgot something. Thanks for joining me in this week's video. This is Katie the Cleaning Lady reminding you, best foot forward.